everyone. Welcome back to another fantastic variety show of Sugar Pine 7. Today we're going to be doing a little do-it-yourself. That's a DIY if you've never heard of it. The do-it-yourself that we're going to be doing ourselves isn't ourself, but we'll be doing it ourselves. Now that's a horror scene diarrhea. Diorama. <laughs> We've got five minutes once I roll the clock. Motherfucker. Goddamn glue stick. Who fucking put the glue stick on? Now we have minimal to normal amounts of things to build our diorama with. You can do this at home. You can go ahead and follow me at home. I'm gonna be making something very intricate. We've got ping pong ball, markers, a Star Wars Rogue One character, some felt, glue, and that's all you're ever gonna need to build <coughs> yourself. <coughs> to build yourself a horror scene diorama at home. We begin. Also, I'd like to mention that we will be acting out our horror scene at the end of the show. You're already seven minutes in, dude. Yep, so we're just gonna what? start by cutting out kind of an L shape for the base here. And we're gonna have two walls. That's all we need. That's actually what they called me in high school. Two walls. Now what I'm gonna do right off the bat here is lay down some floor. Look at that. Just a little dab will do here. Just a little dab there. And place it down. Hot, hot, they say. Ho, <laughs> ho, Don't burn yourself at home, kids. You must be 21 or older. Fucking glue's all over that. We are at uh, half the time. Yes, we are. We may extend the time. I need another fucking glue stick. <laughs> just gonna fucking shove that piece of shit right in there and just push the excess glue right. Oh, oh, it's it's glue. glue, not cum, everyone. Ah. Oh, I already glued that one down. <laughs> Make sure you're only gonna get the floor done. We're going to install a wall light. Very hot. Very hot. <laughs> just right there. Now, isn't that nice? <laughs> We're rushing, we're rushing, we're going to cut this fucking cocksucker right open, and we're gonna put this... <laughs> this is actually gonna act as a diffuser. <laughs> For the what life do you have to do? Why are you spending time on that? It's gonna... Look at that! Kib is so handsome! <laughs> Got about 40 seconds? I know, I know, I know. We may extend my time. <laughs> It's starting to look like a Minecraft home now that you mention it. And we are going to probably just install another bedside light. Dude, stop doing the lights! The scene's starting to look pretty imminent. Perfect. This is starting to look perfect. Just a little blood at the base. That's not related to the incident, but related to more of a personal incident of the person who was laying there. These are his footprints. He's a golden man. He was the Golden State Killer. <laughs> oh, hey, that's smart. And he walked right in. He held his fucking ground. <laughs> he held his ground. <laughs> One in the morning. Everyone's asleep in the house. The Golden State Killer comes in through the door. He stands right beside the victim. And he's watching him sleep. Look at that. This person's gonna die today. <laughs> and scene. Oh, and so the who the fuck is the girl in the window? <laughs> Thank you so much. We will move on to our next. Steven Subtick. This is one of the most exciting days of my life. So as you guys know, I love winter horror movies like um, Al Pacino, Insomnia, Blind River, and I myself am going to make a winter diorama horror. It's gonna be probably really great. I made a lot of science projects, dioramas in uh, high school up through college about volcanoes. So we're just gonna... Now with every great winter... <laughs> what the fuck is it? <laughs> now with every great winter mystery, there's usually a frozen lake, so we're gonna get the glue gun. <laughs> so we're gonna, oh, hot. Oh, hot. Oh! And then we're gonna, you know, kind of spread it around. Unfortunately, the glue gun doesn't seem to be working, so we're just gonna put this upside down. Get a little bit of peanut butter on it, unfortunately. Uh, now, just outside of the lake, there's a bloody delight. How about that now? Before we actually put the characters in, we wanna set up the crime scene. Blood on the ice. Metaphorical, let's spread it around. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now we want to spread it on the actual crime scene. That seemed to be doing a great job of doing Yeah, you know, I'm trying to get it to... Oh, that's nice. That's a nice looking crime scene. You just want to spread the blood around. That's going to be one of the... Oh, jeez. Oh, then we want a little trail right about here. Now that's looking great. Now we want to get our character out. So we're going to need to use the scissors. <sighs> oh, this is looking like a well-packaged character. 
Okay, well, we can just disregard the package. <laughs> now, what's he doing out there? I guess you're gonna have to wait until the diorama of uh, the show to see. Jesus! Okay, so now, actually, guys, we're gonna make a boat. Now, why are we making a boat? I'm just gonna have to wait till the show. We're gonna wanna put some brown filter paper on it. Now, that's looking good. Fuck, there's gonna be a little message on the boat. I can't seem to open the pen. My hand just keeps sliding off. I think it, it is a slippery pen. I'm just gonna have to try a different pen, you know? So on the boat, we're gonna have a special message written. What does that mean? Hmm. Gonna have to wait till the show. I have gotten something on my face. What is that? What is that? Oh my fucking face. You know what else is in the winter that you, you'd really love? Frozen grass. You're not gonna be able to tell it's grass. So we're gonna have to draw grass on it. Oh, can't seem to open this pen. This is very difficult. I'm really not having an easy time opening this pen. Hopefully this isn't eating up too much of my time. But I just, I seem to, once again, be struggling with this pen. What is more important in a winter scene than a tree? I'm just gonna try to slide it into this other piece of cardboard by... Rubbing it, rubbing it against the side, hoping that it'll somehow make a fire. So if we can just, and just like that, we've got a stand-up tree. So once we've got the blood all around, you look at something and you think, how could you make it better? I really don't think I can. It's the dead of winter. And all but a peep in the mouse uh, all the dead of winter, no one was alive. A man swims in the arctic tundra. The frozen winter, the frozen river surrounds him as he makes his way up to shore. And that's when he notices the fire. He uses it oh, for warmth. <laughs> so we're gonna get him on the fire there. And he's using it for warmth, you know, he's getting, he's getting himself warm. And that's when he notices a beautiful cabin off in the distance. So he saunters over to it. But something's wrong. He opens the door to the cabin and sees a bloody mess. He runs away back to the frozen wasteland and the river, so dangerous, his arm spins in circles. <laughs> he trips. He's trapped. <laughs> Dude, let me do that again. Dude. <laughs> You're covered, you're covered in peanut butter. <laughs> He's drowning. It's negative 13 degrees inside the water. How cold, he thinks. He manages to find a, a, an escape. And what does he do? He goes back to the fire. He uses it for warmth. And then he notices... A cabin. And he goes to the cabin. How nuts! And then he realized he was stuck in a never-ending loop. And there was never any danger at all. How about that? So it's my turn. Hey, I'm James, the sane one of the group. I'll be recreating a... Don't swallow, don't swallow. I swallowed it. I'll be recreating a fan favorite, uh, Alfred Hitchcock's classic horror film, Psycho. So this is the important part right here. You start with the foundation because this is going to be. If you think about all the all the bloodshed that Norman Bates did, right, and all the all the bodies that were buried under the house, all the blood that that really made him such a star. We're going to start with this box. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to cut down a lot of that. And remember, uh, Norman Bates. He had a little peek hole. The Norman debates would watch the, the different girls shower. Here we are right here. Build us a shower. Do we have a, do we have a prop bathtub? Think on your feet, James. You're good at this. Think on your feet. And then a little bit of a... A little bit of real... That was just for me for now. He's my little sweetheart. I want you to see the photorealism right here. That's supposed to be Princess Leia. Oh my god, I'm so dirty. So just imagine that it looks like the bathroom from the movie. She's taking a shower, washing off all the the day, and she doesn't know that. Wait, you're here. My little Norman Bates, three pounds, seven ounces, watching him, just like his mom. His mom's a fucking rotting skeleton in the other room upstairs in the house up the up the hill. So I'll play Norman Bates. Let me dress myself like a woman. So she's taking a shower. She's in there. She's kind of getting turned on a little bit. They didn't talk about that much in the movie, but she was kind of getting turned on. In the novelization of the movie, you read that. <laughs> And she's fucked. So what he does is he throws her in the trunk of her own car and throws her in, in the fucking bog out back. <laughs> and I think mine usually was the winner. <laughs> so 
about how James's was the worst. <laughs> Dude, yours was the worst. <laughs> and there you have it. Thank you so much for watching the variety show. Like James said, but you didn't hear. Uh, we're just having fun with the show, baby. That's our little DIY. Let us know whose diorama you thought was the best and whose story you thought was the best. Make sure to leave a like on this video. Show your support of the show. And we'll see you on the next one. What, what goofs and gas will we have up for next time? This is on fire. Do you think that looks good? She looks like she's begging for help. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen those videos on like Pornhub or anything where I've they never suction never, a pussy? Never heard of that. You've never I've seen it where they suction a pussy? Oh and yeah, it that's gets disgusting, like that? dude. Yeah, it's disgusting. No! It's disgusting. Fuck you, it's dude. It's disgusting, man. Did I